What is up, everybody? It is your boy Nick or John, and this is the the analysis of my Road to 2000 Elo game, episode number four, um, where I went on time against the 1233. Um, yeah, like I said, chess is chess. Time is a factor. I said this the same exact time the other other day when I won a game on time. But uh, yeah, let's remember to like and subscribe. Socials, you know that fun little stick. Let me pull out the game and let us hop right into it. Actually, hold on. Let me get the right. Is that the right overlay? Um, there we go. Oop, that that is the right overlay for the game reviews. Um, <clears throat> so my opponent, seventy nine point eight percent accuracy, and I had seventy one point zero seventy one on the dot. Um, they had three great moves. I had eight best. They had eight best moves. I had nine. They had six excellent. I had uh, four. They had six good. I had seven. Two book. Two book. And I had one more inaccuracy and two misses. Um, so yeah, there was a time in like the almost the middle game, literally the middle of the game, where I was actually had a slight advantage um, a couple times in the opening as well. But um, yeah, let's let's get into it. Uh, D D four and D five. Let me unmute this tab. Uh, d4 d5 and they do the queen's gambit decline and i go well i decline the, the queen's gambit i should say and they do a a3 which i thought was interesting i've never seen this line before um <clears throat> like i've said in previous um, games i do in fact have the few of the gotham courses so i, I learned the uh a6 queen's gambit decline where they go here and you push up the pawns and yeah and it's it's a fun little thing but um they went a3 i'm not sure what to do uh so i went a6 because that's the only really the line of the queen's game but the climb that i know and they do b4 this is one of the only times in the game i <laughs> had an advantage because i was uh very surprised and confused i did not take it wanted me to take um i guess to i don't know I thought they push up the pawn. I would have a lot. Oh, yeah I'd have a dominant lock on that queen side and then their pieces would be paralyzed. I see Well, I didn't do that. I pushed up my pawn to b6 and they put their knight out I put my knight out and this uh, threat of This move is still in the air especially now that I have I didn't I did not even see that Wow, I'm upset at myself for not seeing it, but the mind of a 1100 brain that is why so they took, I took back, and they pinned me. I push, trying to knock away their bishop. Uh, the best move in this position is to do bishop e7 first, um, but I immediately attacked them with the h6 push. They move back. The computer wants them to take, and let me have that little fish hook here and have my queen exposed. So I unpin myself now that they move back and they get their their knight out and now I do this pawn push which I thought was a good move because um, takes 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 bam I believe is that what the line the line wanted not really no okay whatever well I thought it was right <laughs> so um yeah the best move actually let me see because the computer's slow and didn't want to they want to load for me the best move to, in this position is to castle hmm okay stockfish is weird but um i guess I get my my king to safety and unpin all these things um <clears throat> but instead i went knight here to stop this pawn from moving and now it is a weakness and i can easily take it and they took took back and now they got their rook here so this bishop this bishop was x-raying the rook through the knight and if they did this some sort of stupid move i would have taken and they would have uh you know went here and then i would have won myself a rook obviously my opponent is better than that and did not hang that like my other opponent did similar in a similar game so i went here um this was a big stand like a big move I was considering in the in the game if you watch the full video um, when I so this can this is can be attacked I, I could go here and pin it that way but instead I pinned it 
pin the knight, which they have to defend it, obviously. But I believe the computer was saying, um, let me see, the computer thinks that bishop takes is the correct answer. So bishop takes, then rook takes, and then queen defends. Um, yeah, queen d2, and then, what does this say? Bishop, no, I mean rook d8. So rook d8 would fall into if they try to, let's say, you know, develop. Uh, I would check. They would go back. And now their rook is pinned. Another queen is pinned. But obviously it's right in the air. So I'd have to take the rook. They take back. They can't take back, actually. Ah, oh, because it's pinned. Okay, I see. Okay. So that would be... That's a good move to find. It's probably not the hardest move to find, but I was not paying enough attention. Um, that's a that's a dirty tactic. I'm not even sure how they could um, defend against that besides just um, it's just the check check me is the best response. But uh, yeah. Oh, to check me, and then I if I move the the knight. So if they checked me. I move the knight, I lose my queen. So I would have to tuck my king away or just go here with the bishop. So my queen is still defended. Okay. There's some interesting lines, interesting lines for sure. Excuse me. Um, yeah. So none of that happened. <laughs> this actually happened. So I go here, like I said, and they defend, which is a, a great move by them. And in this... I was still kind of thinking that uh, the knight was pinned, even though it's not um, because, I mean, it's not really pinned for the fact that I could just take here and then it would take back with the king or take back with the, with the knight. Um, so yeah, that happened. I took, what did it want me to do? What did the computer say? It said bishop d8. So. Okay, so bishop d8, they took back, and then I went bishop d8 because I saw the threat of them just, you know, going in and forking me, which is never fun, never want to be forked. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I went there, and they got their knight out, and their their king is still under, their king side is still underdeveloped. They have the kings in the middle of the board, and I really want to take advantage of that if for any means, like, that knight was not there, it would be so lovely because it would put them in check and, you know, but that's a, that's a possibility. Um, so in this position, I castled and it was saying that, what was the best move? Bishop e6. Okay, it said bishop e6 was still the best move because I was eyeing this move because you have both these pieces and only one can be defended. Um, so I would assume they would have went here, and I didn't want my my uh, my rook being bullied around. But it's it said it's easy to obviously just do that, and then okay. So I castle that take, they go back, and then I pin the knight, and they bring the bishop out, and then I go to attack the knight. They castle, I take the knight, and for the bishop, they take back. Says they probably should take him back this way to leave that threat on the diagonal. Um, or at least with the rook. Doing it with the rook would have all their pieces in the game, except for this one. I mean, if there was all the pieces in the game, that would be a very, um, be a very hard pawn to defend. I mean, for me to capture, um, because of all this pressure, I don't have, I don't have enough in my wheelhouse to do that. So I go here. I was trying to think about threading this fork here, but I, I always forget or just don't notice when um, there's pieces. Like I know bishop, bishops go backwards. I'm aware of that. But sometimes I get so tunnel visioned in my little thought process and what I want to do that like I feel like, oh, I'm going to get to a fork, blah, 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 blah. And then I just lose a piece and I'm stupid. <laughs> um, but yeah, they um, pinned my knight, I guess, to my bishop, which I didn't really know. I moved the bishop back. 
what is the best move in this situation? Knight e6. And I went knight c6. So knight e6 would be here threatening to win the pawn. Okay. And then they would push the pawn up to negate that. So they go here, pinning my knight again. I move back. They move their knight around. They're shuffling pieces. And they fork me. I did not. I did not. I swear to God, I did not see this fork coming at all. And I wish I did. I wish I did because I, I mean, I was doing bad, but this made me a lot worse. <laughs> I was like, I was just fixated. Oh, oh I'm going to attack that bishop. I'm going to get the bishop. Just a little one move. But meanwhile, they have this freaking tactic here. And then they have this check and I can't even really, I can't take back the piece um, because it's defended, obviously. So I move back and they take the rook. I take back and yeah, it's just not fun. They told me to go here, I believe. Knight c6 is the best. And yeah, I'm just not having a fun time. Um, but if you look at the time, my opponent in the last, they had a minute 18 on the clock until I made this move. And then they had 15 seconds left. Um, it took them a minute and three seconds to find this little knight fork. Um, and it's five minute, five seconds. So if they move fast, they can, they can, you know, get all their time back. But I guess they just move too slow and they just let the time run. And unfortunately, um, they lost. It is what it is, like I said, but you know, you have to be a little bit more conscientious about the time clock, especially, you know, when you're up that much material um, in an end game, you know, you're up a whole rook um, and pawn, a couple pawns. So you have to be more conscientious and you have to make sure you know what you're doing. Same with me. I have to be conscientious, so I can't really talk. I'm not conscientious about my pieces being attacked or tacticalized or whatever the hell. But uh, yeah, I won on time. Like I said, it is what it is. Don't get mad at me. I know. I know. I just went on time. I get it. A win is a win. My opponent needs to learn how to manage the time better. So, yeah. It has been your boy Nick or Donham. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. I'm loving putting this chess content out. Um, like I said, in every single video, follow me on my TikTok. Follow me on Kick. We'll do some live streams. I'm going to play some Bullet. Um, I'm thinking about doing a Bullet series. Um, like a road to like 1500 or road to... I don't know. Road 1250 in bullet because my bullet has not gone above 900. And it's been a long time since it's been there, but it keeps going down. So, yeah. Peace.